So let's go ahead and pick up where we left off. In my last video, we created a short code that helps us uh, generate this bootstrap button. And it takes a few attributes. Um, what we're gonna create in this video is another short code that's actually a bootstrap panel. And this short code is gonna be set up a little bit differently because it's actually gonna be a short code that you can wrap around uh, your content inside WordPress. Um, let's go ahead and get started. What I'm going to do first is just copy this because I'm going to reuse some of this code. I don't want to uh, just get rid of it. And then I'll comment it out. And we'll just paste it again down here. Make that a little bit bigger. Okay, so what I'm going to do first is I'm going to change this function name from button shortcode to panel shortcode. So I'll just delete it where it says button and I'll put panel. Also down here, um, I'm going to put panel as well because that's going to be the name of our shortcode. Up here for the uh, comment block, I'll change it to panel just to keep it consistent. And I will also remove the link because the panel box in Bootstrap doesn't have a link. And um, basically it'll work like this. We'll have our content in WordPress and then we'll wrap it around some short codes uh, like this. So we need to modify this function a little bit. Uh, first thing we have to do is add a new parameter. And what it's gonna be called is content. It's going to be the content that we're wrapping our uh, short codes with. And we'll keep this extract the same, except we'll delete the link. And instead of label, I'm going to put title. And I need to change that up here as well. And um, for the defaults, let's just change it up a little bit. I always use the default. I'll just make it something else, put warning. And right here, uh, we're not gonna need this line of code anymore. In fact, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna delete this line and I'm gonna use a couple of PHP functions uh, to make our code a little bit more readable. Now, again, these aren't WordPress functions. These are just actual regular PHP functions, but it, it helps make the code um, easier to read. The first one I need to use is going to be called OB start. And if you're not familiar with uh, what this function is, OB stands for output buffering. And what it does is it basically kind of, uh, it kind of pauses PHP and allows you to just generate some content. Or uh, basically it just lets you store it inside of a, you know, a single variable. And um, you'll, you'll see how it works in a minute. And if you still don't get it, you can check out php.net and, uh, you know, read up on it. So I'll leave that. And what I'll do is I'm going to come back up here and I'll close php out. And then I'm going to immediately open it again right here. And then I'm just going to add the markup for the panel. So I need a div with a class of panel. Um, it also needs to have a class of panel dash warning. And inside of that, we need a few more divs. We need one with a class of panel heading. And another one with a class of panel body. Just like that. Oh, and there's one more. I forgot. It's um, an H3. And it has to have a class of panel title. And this is basically the markup for a bootstrap panel box. Now, if you remember above, we have uh, two attributes. One called type and one called title. The type, which is warning by default, is 
the variable that needs to be uh, set right here. So instead of just kind of hard coding that, I'm going to open up um, PHP tags. Oops. Just like that. And I'll just put echo type. And then um, within this H3, I'm going to do the same thing only for the title variable. So now when um, a user creates some content and wraps it with the short code and they use these attributes, uh, they'll be stored right here. Now we need to echo out one more thing inside the panel body and that's going to be our content. If you remember in our function here, our second parameter being the content. Notice how it's null. So if you just put the, the content there, um, you'll get a blank panel. We need to echo that. And I need to spell it right. And then uh, we need to use a couple of more PHP functions um, that are kind of like in the same family as this OB start. Uh, the first one we need to use, and we need to make sure that we do it under the opening of our PHP tag. Uh, we need to use the function um, ob underscore get underscore content like that and what we're going to actually do is store that in a variable called panel contents so just like that create a variable called panel contents and set it equal to ob output buffering underscore get contents which obviously gets the contents of our markup that we added after OB start. Uh, one more thing we need to do before we can continue is we need to go ahead and say that uh, basically we're done with the output buffering. And we do that by calling a function called OB and clean, like that. And um, now we can return. Um, our content to the browser and we do that by using return panel contents semicolon and we should be good to go so what I'm gonna do is I'll save this I'll switch over to my browser and I'm gonna edit this page I'll just delete this and um, add some content and wrap it with our short code uh, Watch out for that tree. It doesn't matter. Just put whatever you want. Just make sure you wrap it with this short code and then update it. And now when you view the page, you'll see our bootstrap panel here. And remember by default, the title is warning and the panel type is also warning. Uh, for more info about bootstrap, definitely check out getbootstrap.com and um, it should give you a better understanding of what these classes mean and how you can change the color of these panel boxes. <clears throat> I have an entire playlist about Bootstrap and it should help you too. Um, remember we also added the ability to add attributes. Uh, one of them was type, which is a type of panel. So we can change this to, uh, let's change it to danger. And we can also add title. So we can change the title of our panel box and then, um, I don't know, I'll just put caution for whatever reason. On our view page. And as you can see now, the function that we created has parsed our short code with the attributes that we passed through. So our title is here and our panel box is now this kind of reddish pink. And um, that's going to be it for now. In the next video, what we'll do is we'll learn uh, one last piece of short code, and then we'll go ahead and move on to the plugin. Um, what we'll do is we cre we'll, re we'll create nested short codes. Um, thanks for watching, and don't forget to like and share, and see you in the next video.